Stormy Decarp started basically to fulfil this gap in the market um, for larger busted ladies. It was glaringly obvious that there was just nothing in terms of swimwear and that's why it was desperately needed. One of my first jobs ever was in a swimwear shop and that's where it really sort of set the path for my career and my future. And um, I've just always had a love of working in swimwear shops. It's just, it's really nice. It has a really lovely feel to it. People are happy. It's a happy industry to be in. Our customers can literally be anyone from an 18 year old girl to a 75 year old lady. And that's because we offer all different shapes and also all different sizes. So we'll go from a 30D all the way to a 40G. So that's a huge sort of size skew. And um, just different shapes, for example, halternecks, balconettes, um, one pieces, tankinis, monokinis. They're all underwired, they all have power mesh, they all have our sort of secret construction going on, which gives you the best fit. As always with a, a sort of startup, it's, it's everything. It's coming up with the name, it's the concept, it's are people going to understand it, are people going to get it, do people actually need it? Um, sourcing a factory, getting the right shapes, testing them out, seeing what the fit's like and basically Storm & Decap is famous for its fit. It, you know, we give really beautiful structured shapes and that took a while to kind of perfect. At the start of the brand we were wholesaling so we were selling to Harrods and Harvey Nichols and we took it to America and we were selling it there and we did really well. However, the only thing we didn't like about it was that we were losing control with the customers and at Storm & Decap we are all about customer service and it kind of felt like we were just handing it over and then we just didn't have any more anything else to do with it. So about three years ago we made the somewhat scary decision or we just made the decision to go exclusively online purely for the reason that we would then have direct control of the brand and that we'd be able to have that customer contact which is really important to us. This is one of our sort of standard halters which is really nice with the sash pant so it kind of gives you a bit of um, sort of a tuck which is nice to feel like that or if you want something a bit sexier and skimpier we've got this style here which is one of my favorite I have to say I absolutely adore this bikini and it just looks stunning on. It would be a dream to have a Storm and Decup standalone shop one day however at the moment being online is just brilliant you know we have customers in Singapore and Australia and America and and it's quite nice for us to be able to reach out to them as opposed to just having a shop in London. This one here is also very popular. It's, um, it's our halter with the trim, which is lovely, and this print is fabulous. It looks so nice on. We sort of started right at the top in the sense of we got a bespoke website made and it was all like, had all the bells and whistles and it was amazing. However, we found it wasn't very user friendly and our customers did struggle somewhat with it. And now we're, it's a lot simpler in the sense that you can navigate it really easily and we've got complete control of the back end which is fantastic so we can constantly change things and update products, you know, change prices, do sales, we can do a lot more with it. Our latest style actually is this one here which is not underwired, it's a halt twist and we do get some requests for non-underwire because not everybody enjoys wearing a wire and this is really really supportive because it's got this extra sort of elastic down here and what we're really proud of is this trim which took us ages to develop. You get what you pay for mm -hmm. in a sense so if you're buying you know a cheap bikini generally it will be quite flimsy material and there won't be much that goes into it mm -hmm. whereas Everything that we put into this, it's got power mesh, it's got underwiring, it's got, you know, all sorts of things, tricks of the trade that are going to give you that lift and make you feel really good when you're on the beat. So probably the most difficult challenge is with the factory. So it's really hard to find the right factory and then once you've found them, to kind of make sure that they always maintain the same quality and that they don't, for example, sell your style to somebody else. Or, and we had a huge, huge problem with our factory. And after that, we had to change and find another one. But now we're working with this amazing factory in Italy, which is really exciting. So, because I'm Italian, so it's really nice to support, you know, my heritage, as it were. And, um, and to have that sort of made in Italy feel is really important. We're a very small company, so not that many people know about us. 
What I would love is just to get the word out there a bit more and tell everybody about our product. I'd also love to go back to America because we were wholesaling over there. However, I'd like to sort of relaunch in a way, but just being exclusively online. This style here is one of our classic one pieces and it's so chic, it's so elegant. This is definitely a Sofia Loren Italian kind of, you know, in Positano with her cocktail. It's really hard to say what my favourite thing is because there are so many elements that I adore. Obviously the designing side of it, being able to get creative and just unleash in that sense is amazing and it's just, it's wonderful. There's nothing more rewarding.